I do crazy stuff, but it's always sort of calculated and I try to minimize risk. Dickie seems to want to maximize risk. So if there's anything that I don't want to do, Jeff's like, oh, Dickie can do it. So what we want to do with you is put you out in Ghost Cage. The shark's going to be able to see you in this but he's not going to be able to sense you, which might really be an interesting experiment. So he won't be able to sense my electrical field given off by my body? Right, I think you're going to be shielded by this. It'll see this very, uh, probably alluring uh, item floating around on the surface, something that's seal-sized. The shark's going to come in and investigate you. So you're going to be our little elephant seal out there, <laughs> dangling. OK, man, no worries. the ghost cage, that wouldn't work out too well. Hey, Dickie, you all right? Pretty insane. Couple of close calls. Big sharks, small sharks. Some of them came very, very close. The tiger shark, when they come and bite, they don't let go. And they grab a turtle, but they just hang on that turtle and they bite down on it and they shake it. So you really don't want to get bit by a tiger shark. You're either going to drown or you're going to lose a limb because they're not going to let go. There's a shark right there. We need to put the one person on the bow. No, wrong side, wrong side. I don't pull him, let them loose. There we go. Ready, Doc? Ready to roll. All right, he's tagged. I think it's a she. It's a she. It's a she. We need a genetic sample, and we're ready. Got it. Oh, Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. That was just awesome. We're going to do something that I'm not sure has ever been done before. We're going to strap Annie into this harness and we're going to dangle him over sharks. You want to be as tight as possible in this. You want to clip me in, man? With this, I'll be able to lean out sort of Mission Impossible style and uh, hopefully just be able to get this fin cam on one of these Australian great white sharks. It feels like uh, I need a little bit more, um, yeah. And then you can lower me a bit more, like, holy <laughs> this is scary. This is scary without even any sharks around. <laughs> from Guadalupe travel to Surf Beach and vice versa. But what I want to know from Jimmy is, does he see the same sharks here year after year? The interesting thing, Brandon, is we see the same males return here. What about the females? Female migration out here is every two years. Exactly like Surf Beach, huh? Yeah, just like other wildlife, highly migratory animals. They come back and their migratory patterns are very consistent, sometimes returning to the same spot on the same day. All right, get ready now. It's game on. Here we go. Guys, I'm deliberately leaving the bait on its nose.
you're seeing there is a, a small form of chronic inability. You know, it's just an overload of senses. They're not used to being touched like that. All their senses around this snout area, and as soon as I touch that area, it makes that jaw gape. You know, I'm glad that railing was there. If that railing wasn't there, you'd be toast. <laughs> well. And I'd be next. <laughs>